Well, hey there, guys. What's up? It's Snoo. Today was a very productive day, going over all the patch notes. Tell me, you didn't really think Magic Vine was dead, now did you? Because you see that scarab there? Still exists. Double check the patch notes. They didn't touch it. Player side quantity on gear, but not from other sources. And that's a separate little bucket of quantity. It's going to be really impactful. And the Scarab of Wisps doubled in effectiveness, and you get an extra one. So up to four Scarabs of Wisps with one Glittering Scarab. I could see an Atlas something like this with the Forcing Delirium beyond Eldritch Altars. Uh, breach, at least one Breach, at least one Legion, and throw Legion into the map device. You get you two Legions and one Breach is a bare minimum, and a whole bunch of Delirium beyond, a lot of pack size, forcing uh, increased effect modifiers, non-unique maps is to the max in the Atlas, and then chiseling up with something special next time. It's going to be more currency or more pack size, something like that. And yeah, tier 16, tier 17, I don't know, but here's a Jungle Valley showcasing the same build that I showed in the last two videos. It's going to be a little difficult because monsters are empowered with wisps, but I think it could maybe pass for doing this far. I'm probably not quite up to par depending on the roles on the maps. Definitely probably not on tier 17 with a similar farm. If I had a headhunter, uh, this would feel a lot better, but hey. You know, go through the map, something like this. Just streamline down, get the Eldritch Altars if they spawn any. You see the Legions, you see the Breach, but skip them. No, you want to unlock all the Altars. You want to find that Wildwood before you do any mechanics, if possible. It's apparently going to spawn somewhere randomly in the map occasionally. We don't know how rare it'll be. It might be one every five maps. might be one every 50 maps. It might be as rare as the, as the, uh, the Seer. <laughs> in a map which is actually quite rare so who knows what it'll be but hey if you put 8,000 up to 8,000 wisp juice into the map front load it into there that should be pretty good right unless they adjusted some of the numbers internally on there but here you go now uh, i've unlocked jungle valley it's pretty quick on a character like this and the double inspired learning can get things done pretty well and just start unlocking everything the breach both legions and you know it's not like you're gonna lose money on this farm although you might because the Horn Scarab of Glittering might be really, really, really expensive. That's about the only thing I'm afraid of. Because if they made that Scarab rare, that just might be the most expensive Scarab next league. Especially if unique items are more valuable than usual, which I think there stands to be a pretty decent chance of that. Although we've been surprised with uniques being cheaper and cheaper and cheaper with every passing league. So who knows how that's going to be. I don't know much about the league mechanic. Didn't pay that much attention to the patch notes on that note. But of course, the burning question everybody had is, what about Magic Vine? If we move Magic Vine, what are we going to do? We're probably going to do something like this, guys. Probably going to look something like this. But who knows? This is just a guess for now. Got a lot of testing to do. It's going to be a new and interesting league. Let's take a look at some of the other patch notes real quick before we go. The patch notes are here to view at your leisure. You can check the main site. You can see the grand reveal. You can watch the Ziggity interview. Anything you want. That's what I did today. So play catch up if you like. I'm just going to take a moment here to show you the patch notes in the subsection for this video. We're just focusing on player increased item quantity. Now on the side, as a side point, rarity still exists. And in fact, some of that uh, quantity on gear got transferred into rarity or more rarity on the piece. So rarity may play an important role and this may be kind of a poverty league. Although, you know, how things typically turn out, people anticipate one thing and they end up actually being even more insane than the league before that. So, you know, third time's a charm. Uh, we may get even more loot than we got in Necropolis, which is more loot than we got in Affliction in, in a certain sense it was anyway. But I don't know what the cost of things are going to be next league. But as far as I know, finding uniques on the ground might actually be kind of exciting this league. Uh, I'm just guessing. We could see. But as you can see, just from looking at this, every single item that had player side quantity, that specific little bucket, which uh, contributed a great deal to uh, dropping more stuff, all of those items, the quantity's deleted. It's moved around. It's deleted. It's just gone. So... Player side quantity is all but gone in its entirety, save for a couple of very small exceptions, most notably the Horn Scarab of Glittering, which I'm really hoping doesn't cost an arm and a leg, because if it's cheap, especially if it's cheap, that strategy I just showed you, who knows, but I think that could be uh, one of the end game strats to just go through the map pretty quick and you can just grind that out and 
pray that the Wildwood spawns. Because, God, you could have like a 20,000 Wisp Juice map if it does. Uh, but, you know, it, a lot of there's a lot of factors that depend on how expensive is a Scarab. How, uh, how often do you find the Wildwood? It's going to affect a lot of different things. There is, however, another Dark Horse pick for the player side quantity, and you saw it in the thumbnail. That is the Covetous Shrine. So if you want to know what the new Magic Fine Gear is, it's going to be the Gall Helm and Blunderbore, granting you 37% increased quantity of items found on gear and well over 100% increased rarity for a limited time only, about a, a couple minutes, I guess, with all those items. Uh, and you could squeeze in a lot of mechanics in a couple minutes, and you can make that shrine spawn well, fairly on the regular. Well, it, well, it may cost you... Uh, a scarab slot or two forcing more uh, shrines onto the map but uh, i just want to let you know that is an option and that one doesn't cost hardly anything except you know getting it set up with supreme ostentation the gear and all that stuff but yeah just figured i'd let you know those are the two ways i know to still get quantity in gear we're going to be needing to pay close attention to the cost of the horn scarab of glittering next league it's going to be a major part of <laughs> so many strategies and everybody's going to want it and i just hope that it's not as certainly not as rare as the curation scarab was last league and even if it's as rare as it was last league i'm thinking it's going to be kind of expensive guys kind of expensive but uh anyway the second order of business, the second biggest thing people were asking me about after Magic Find was my build. So quick little um, insight into that. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Got a 10% buff. <laughs> I don't know why. I was kind of expecting a slight nerf, actually, to the numbers because it's the numbers are pretty crazy early on when the gear sucks. But it got a buff. And it got a, an ascendancy that it's going to work extremely well with. <laughs> I, was a little, I was slightly skeptical at first, but man, upon second look, I think, yeah... Yeah, that Warden stuff, that, that's going to be the ticket, guys. That's going to be the ticket. I still feel like the Dead Eye's a good option. She got nerfed a little bit, but still a great ascendancy. But holy cow, I mean, we can get Far Shot outside the Dead Eye now. We can get return Projectile. We can do all kinds of different things to make that build work real nice. I never liked Ignite anyway. Get the Scorch instead. That's freaking awesome. Well, I got a lot of work to do to uh, get that set up. Got that build guide to pump out. It's going to be a few days till I get it out. But uh, guys, get ready. It's going to be an exciting league. Magic Find is not dead. Okay? Not dead. It's just a little different. And even if you can't get quantity on gear, you can still uh, move really fast, clear really efficiently, and wear whatever the hell gear you want now. <laughs> so, not that bad. I was already mentally prepared for this. I kind of figured the day might come. Affliction League really was a turning point in my philosophy on magic find i still appreciate the old the now old school look of sacrificing player power for gear that uh, can elongate your excitement of progressing a character making more loot drop the loot fantasy there's a power fantasy and the loot fantasy i've talked about this before uh, it not a bad idea though to offer players last epoch does this too to offer players infinite scaling difficulty infinite scaling rewards some people don't like that i think that's very tricky to balance in both senses but if it's done right i imagine a world where affliction where the monsters were maybe half as hard and dropped 20 percent of the loot they did or even just 10 percent of the loot they did at the high end that would have been a pretty nice uh pretty nice league and i'm hoping i'm hoping guys that uh this upcoming league is something like that We'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the state of Magic Find moving forward, about the Elemental Hit of the Spectrum moving forward, about this league moving forward, and I'll get back to you in a short time. Stay calm and keep Magic Finding.